Howdy y'all, Julian here with JD and Plinking. Hope you're having a great one. So today we're gonna to be doing something a little different. It's very windy outside. There's gusts between 18 to 25 miles an hour. And I figured I might as well show you a comparison between different rounds when you're shooting them at different ranges. So we're taking out four different rounds. First off, we've got a 17 HMR, this little guy right here, Hornaday 17 grain VMAX. Then we're gonna take out our 556 slash 223, our AR in other words. And we're gonna shoot these 223 55 grain VMAX, Hornaday bullet as well. Then we got this 130 grain CX 270 Winchester bullet, which we're gonna take out there as well, another Hornaday bullet. If you didn't notice, I like Hornaday a lot. And last but not least, we got the Thumper right here. Good old 4570. This is a 325 grain FTX bullet, also by Hornaday. And I just wanna show you at 100 yards away how these gusts of wind will affect the trajectory. All of these rifles have been sighted in, they're all spot on. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Have a good one. This is how windy it is. I wasn't joking. Okay, so we are out here 100 yards away. We set up two targets, so we're gonna shoot two rifles per target. Probably this top one will do the 17 and the 223, and then the bottom will do the 270 and the 4570. But yeah, that's the setup, and we'll put a camera here, camera back there, and it's gonna be a great time. Okay, so here's the results. So I was aiming here with the 17. We ended up over here, which is at least, I mean, that's between three to five inches right there. And of course the gap is spread out pretty significantly with that wind. This is at least two and a half inches. Then we got our 223 slash 556 out of the AR. That one is off a bit too. I mean, it's off by about an inch and a half, and I know this rifle's spot on, and it's low at the same time. The grouping is about an inch and a half, I'd say. Now we go to the 270 right here. Now there's a nice grouping here. I might have pulled this one. So, I mean, it's an inch and a half group. It's still spot on. I mean, I trust that. A little bit off, not much. Then we got our 4570 up here. That group is about an inch and a half but man that's consistent i think the scope needs to be pulled down a bit to the right because this bullet doesn't move much in flight especially at 100 yards but yeah that's the results each of these guns was fired once before so they're not done on a cold barrel this was all done at least with one shot through them so it's consistent all righty y'all as you saw Bullets with different weight grains and going different speeds will shoot differently out of different rifles, especially with wind. You saw it dramatically in the 17 HMR, 223, 4570, and 270. Of course, with the heavier loads, it's gonna be more consistent. I mean, it's a big bullet, it's traveling, there's a lot of power going through, so that 4570 isn't gonna really move. Same with the 270, it's a very flat shooting bullet, very quick. Now if we go out to two, three, four, let's say 600 yards, it's gonna be way larger, very, very different scenario. But we only got 100 yards here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if there's something specific you'd like to see. Comment below, and of course, keep plinking. Have a great day, y'all.